Two different organizations in Lake Tahoe are now trying to prevent another trash disaster similar to the one Christina Lopez told us about on the 4th of July. Now both nonprofits are working to come up with solutions. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios is here to tell us about the changes we may soon see. Sophia, what did they show you? Monty, this year many organizations including Keep Tahoe Blue and Clean Up the Lake collected over 6,000 pounds of trash just on one beach at Lake Tahoe. For many people, this was a wake-up call to start finding better solutions to protect this environment. Anyone that maybe was hesitant about taking certain steps and taking action isn't going to do so now, and they're going to realize that, you know, their hand is forced into really working to prevent these issues in the future. This 4th of July, thousands left trash scattered around Lake Tahoe. Thousands of volunteers from nonprofit organizations like Keep Tahoe Blue, Clean Up the Lake, and the Forest Service say they collected over 6,300 pounds of beer cans, towels, and vape pens. But the experience left some organizations concerned. If they don't take action now, this could happen again. I think individuals and people need to see the importance of, of the work that has to be done. I spoke to two different nonprofits who told me they're developing solutions visitors will be able to see by next 4th of July. One consistent problem both organizations say they have is Lake Tahoe is shared by two states, four counties and several cities. People that come here don't know uh, there's no consistent rules. They don't they don't understand what they're supposed to do or, or, or how to protect the lake. And so what we need to do is make that simpler for people. Clean Up the Lake founder Colin West says his nonprofit is helping to create two committees to solve the trash issue. One, a data committee to have better understanding of this issue. And two, an action committee. To implement the action that's needed to prevent these issues and these events like we saw on the 5th of July from ever happening again. Keep Tahoe Blue nonprofit is also working in partnership with other organizations to have a multi-year commitment to Tahoe Blue beaches. This includes education, engineering like adding more trash cans, and enforcement. They know how to dispose of their trash and how to, to, to behave while they're here, um, and they leave it better than they found it, so the next folks that come to Lake Tahoe have that same experience. Another solution Keep Tahoe Blue is experimenting with is technology, including a beach cleaning robot. We want to raise the bar on how we clean our beaches and manage them so people can come here and have a great time. Cape Tahoe Blues spokesperson told me that he is hoping a lot of its solutions will be in implemented by this fall. Both nonprofits are hoping their solutions will lessen the, po the pollution for next year's 4th of July. Monty? Let's hope so, Sophia. Thank you. You can help get involved and keep Lake Tahoe clean. Both organizations have volunteer opportunities. We have those for you on our website at kmph.com.